Lovers of beer and brewing will eventually find their way to Trappist beers, a special category of beers with their own distinct styles, flavors, and history. If you have an affinity for strong, complex beers with a culture under themselves, then this is exactly where you need to be. I first encountered Trappist beer when I noticed that brewers and beer drinkers who I respect kept listing Belgian triples as their all-time favorite beer style. After visiting Belgium a couple years back, I realized what they were talking about. Once you delve into Belgian ales, you are led to a delicious corner of the beer world. A pillar of Belgian beer culture are Trappist beers, which offer a slightly different beer drinking experience. They're slower, more complex, contemplative, sometimes an acquired taste, but always worth it. So what is Trappist beer? Simply put, Trappist beer comes from Trappist monasteries, a monastic order that was first started at La Trappe Abbey in northern France. Today, many Trappist monasteries around the world make products, such as jams, cheeses, breads, and of course, beers. This is part of their tradition of self-sufficiency, selling their own products to support themselves, rather than relying on outside donations. Now, Trappist does not refer to a particular style of beer, as Trappist beers come in a broad range of colors, flavors, and alcohol levels. Rather, Trappist is a protected name. Only Trappists are allowed to call their beer Trappist beer. The authentic Trappist product mark is a special designation granted by the International Trappist Association and can be found on a variety of products from cheeses to chocolates as well as Trappist beer. When a product carries this mark, you know that it meets the ITA's three specific criteria. One, the product must be made by monks or nuns or under their supervision. Two, the product must be made within the immediate surroundings of the abbey. And three, any profits made must be used to support the monastic community, the Trappist order, or for charitable purposes. Officially recognized Trappist monasteries can market beer with the Trappist name, but only those that meet these three criteria can carry the authentic Trappist product mark. As of right now, there are 14 officially recognized beer brands with the Trappist name. In Belgium, there's West Veletren, Chimay, Orval, Rochefort, Achel, and Westmal. In the Netherlands, there's Zunder and La Trappe. In France, Montecat. In Italy, Tre Fontane. In Austria, Stift Engelzal. In England, Tint Meadow. In Spain, Cardenia. And in the US, Spencer in Spencer, Massachusetts. 11 of these 14 carry the authentic Trappist product mark, as the abbey that produces them meets the three criteria. Currently, Montecat, Cardenia, and Achel don't have the mark, with Achel's recently having theirs removed in January 2021, due to the fact that monks no longer live at the abbey. But even without the mark, those abbeys are part of the ITA, and can therefore market beers as Trappist. Trappist brewing is not just a Belgian thing, However, the styles and brewing techniques do have a strong Belgian connection. Many of the Trappist monasteries have brewing traditions going back centuries, while others are relatively new to the brewing scene. In the future, new Trappist breweries may open or close, new ITA marks may be granted or removed, but the tradition of Trappist brewing will likely be around for a long time. So in this video series, I'm going to explore Trappist beers. Learning, tasting, sharing, as many as I can get my hands on. Hopefully we can learn something and grow our appreciation of beer and brewing. I think it's going to be fun. Subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get upcoming videos on tastings, as well as homebrewing videos and other delicious content. Cheers.